Nah, your vision's not blurry. It's your preview settings. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Have you ever been editing one of your videos, you drag your beautiful footage down into the timeline, and it looks all blurry and stuff, and you're like, what is going on? Well, I'm gonna help you out with that. I'm gonna show you how to change your preview settings so that the quality of your preview looks just as beautiful as the footage when you created it. Now, there's a catch here, because when you change your preview quality, it changes something else about your video editing experience. So, I'm gonna break all that down to you, so let's jump off into Power Director 15 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate. Let's jump right into it. The first thing that you wanna do to make sure that your preview quality is the best that it can be is you wanna jump up here to your preferences, Then you want to go down to display. And under preview quality, you want to make sure that full HD preview resolution is selected. If it is not selected, then go ahead and click on that. And you can click on OK. If you're still getting old types of blur up in your eyes when you look at your preview after doing that then the next thing you want to do is see if you have shadow files enabled so you want to go back to preferences you want to go to general and then you'll see a setting that says enable HD video processing shadow file you want to uncheck that all right then you can click on okay now that we've disabled the hd video processing shadow files there may be existing shadow files that we have to delete so keep in mind any file that you want to delete a shadow file for cannot be in a timeline track already. You have to remove it from the timeline track in order to delete the shadow file. If you keep using it, then you're going to have the same preview quality you had before because the shadow file is still being looked at. So what you need to do to delete any existing shadow files is you need to go to preferences. General. And then there's a button that says manually delete. So we're going to click on that button. And then you see a bunch of temporary files. And here on the right, you see, hey, here are the shadow files and where they exist. And it says shadow file at the or near the end of the file name. So I'm going to scroll down and here is the shadow file for the file that I want to remove. So I'm going to click on this checkbox. And I'm going to select delete selected files. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm going to click on OK. And that file has been deleted. So I'm going to click on close. And now I'll click on OK. So we talked about changing your display to full HD preview resolution. We talked about disabling your uh, shadow files. And we talked about deleting existing shadow files. So here's the kicker. This is something that you need to really pay attention to. There is a trade-off between improving your preview quality and your editing performance. The shadow files that we disabled and the shadow files that we deleted, those are created to make the editing process 
faster, better, uh, more pleasurable. Okay, basically, it's creating a lower quality preview, which is why you see a lower quality file when you're previewing your video. So this lower quality file takes up less memory and therefore makes it easier to edit. If you disable shadow files, delete all those shadow files, and you raise your HD quality up, there could be a chance that your editing performance is negatively impacted. So basically, you might encounter things like video stutter, uh, audio video syncing issues, and a lot more different stuff while your uh, program is trying to push you that high quality video there's a trade-off there and you might experience some of those issues now these sync issues and things they're not true sync issues they're just preview sync issues so you think that your audio and video are out of sync but they're not it's just because you have a really high preview quality set up and now the computer is fighting to do certain things to help you edit the video there's one more thing i want you guys to keep in mind it doesn't matter what your preview quality is it has nothing to do with how your video ends up when you produce it. Your preview quality is just what you're seeing while you're editing the video. That's why it's called your preview quality. It's not the same as the video produced quality. So I can have blurry videos while I'm editing if I wanna edit faster. And then once I produce my video, whatever I select as my, um, my file format, my codec, my bit rate, those are the things that will be driving the quality of my video. And when I produce my video, it might look fan, well, based on what I do, when I produce my video, it'll look just like I want it to. So if I want it to look crystal clear and I choose all the right settings, I can have a blurry preview, but when I finish my video, it's still gonna look great as long as I pick the right things. So if you want info on producing HD quality videos using PowerDirector, then check out my tutorial, which will help you make that happen. And I'll put the link or video picture to that video somewhere on the screen. So you can click on that and go to it. And I'll put it in the description as well. That way you can just go to the description and get to the uh, producing HD quality videos too. So that's how you change your preview quality people. You've got it. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Also, tell us about your preview quality experience. Let us know if this helped you fix your preview quality or not. Let us know any other issues that you're having in the comment section below. And if you got any tutorial requests, any other questions, you can leave those in the comment section as well. And last but not least, don't forget, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you receive notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any other learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.